just to give you a little backstory on that book and message, um, Brother Warren, my uh, late husband, he was the one that said, you really should open this message up to men and women. It's such a beautiful message. He said, we men, we need to know our destiny just as much as you women do. <laughs> and I wholeheartedly agree. Because it's the season of the woman, I believe Father God initially gave it to me like that. But I believe it's a universal message, and it's no respecter of gender. We all want to obey the Father and connect with our destiny. He says in Jeremiah 29, 11, one of my favorite scriptures, but it says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And in the first part of that, those three little words in that scripture, plan, hope, and future. Just to give you a snippet of that, speaking of plans, it's God's blueprint. It's his path that he has already outlined for you. And then hope, it's an expectation of good. I can say a little bit about expectation. Our expectation of God, even our perception of him as father, can be all wrong, <laughs> thinking that God was after us. And he was after us, but not to bang us over the head like we thought. But it was a pursuit of love, his loving kindness, pursuing us, desiring that we, that we enter into the fold and become grafted in of his chosen people. And then there's a future. He plans for a good future, not to harm us. But the first order of business is to express to us how much he loves us and how much he has goodness planned for our life. Father God, in this little love sentence through Prophet Jeremiah 29, 11, uh, he says that he, he's not after us to harm us, but he has these great plans for us. And what I was about to say was about future is it's one of the meanings of future is a chance to succeed. So he's after us to reconnect with us, to bring us into the flock of God so that he can give us our chance to succeed. Hallelujah. And so those three little words expanded a bit through definition brings a whole conversation, opens up a whole conversation of God's goodness and his love toward us.